Back in the kitchen dudes here to make tuna patties containing all three essential macronutrients, protein, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats. It's delicious, nutritious, easy to make, nice and cheap, and we're gonna show you how it's done. Let's go! So we got the tuna ready, we have the ingredients, the measuring cup, the tablespoon. We're ready to get started. We're gonna bring this tuna in the bowl here. Scrape it out. Make sure nothing's missing here. This cost me all but 99 cents. Yeah, some omega-3 infused light mayonnaise. Now we're gonna do a couple servings. Sunflower seeds. Up some of the texture, good taste. It's gonna give you that nice, healthy fats. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, onion in here. Some good taste, good texture. It's gonna help mimic some of the burger, hamburger taste, as well as some garlic, granulated garlic. Now, for the secret ingredient, it's gonna be breadcrumbs. Now this stuff, all natural, wheat flour. We're gonna do a whole cup right in there. Oh yeah, time to mix it up. As you can see, it's starting to stick together. This is muscle in a bowl. Put on the pan. Now while that pan is heating up, I'm gonna start making this tuna into patties. Don't be afraid to put your palms in there. Look, that's perfect. Kind of form them. We're in those little hamburger shapes, just like so. Look delicious. There's one. Here we go. I'm gonna throw one on the skillet here. Oh yeah, sizzling, you can hear it. Now you gotta remember, make sure it cooks all the way through. So you're gonna spend some time on each side, about five minutes or so, depending especially on if it's a low or medium or high amount of flame or heat on the skillet. So sit back, relax. Enjoy the smells coming from the skillet. Wait to flip, make sure it's nice and evenly cooked on each side. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna flip it to the next side. The tuna patties are done. Fully cooked through, so that we get a nice, crispy taste to them. I gotta try these out for myself. Mm. Now, I guarantee you try these. You can garnish them with either a little bit of cheese, some ketchup, some whole wheat buns. Try it out, see for yourself. Mm -hmm.